Hey guys, Wayne here from HG Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to transfer all of your data, so pictures, contacts, everything from an iPhone to a Pixel 3a. Uh, we're going to jump right in. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is on the iPhone, you're going to go down to the settings app. So we'll just go ahead and go to settings here and you're going to basically need to go to iMessage. So um, we're going to go to the settings and just do a search or go right down to iMessage. So just to show you, we're in the settings app right now. And I'm going to go right here to the iMessage app. And we're just going to turn off iMessage. That's the first thing you're going to need to do. Now from here in the box, you will have a little adapter that looks like this that you will need to plug into the bottom of your phone. And then uh, we will need to click a few things. So we're going to hit start, connect to network. We're going to skip that for now. We're going to uh, connect to a wireless network. Let me go ahead and put that code in. A couple important things. Um, so you won't be able to transfer your data if you have already set up the phone. On this particular phone, I did set it up. I had signed into my Gmail and all that, and I realized I wasn't gonna be able to transfer the data. So I had to do a factory reset first to take the phone back to like the fresh, the new first page to get to this specific menu that says copy apps and data. So if you've already set up your Pixel, unfortunately you will need to do a factory reset and start over. I do have a video on how to do a factory reset. It's in the playlist for this video. So take a look at that and I'll try to get that in the description of the video or in the, yeah, in the uh, description below. So on this screen, it's saying copy apps and data. So we wanna do this, so I'm gonna hit next. So we're going to plug in that little adapter at the bottom and then I have an iPhone cable right here. So I'm just going to plug in the bottom right there, plug in the bottom to this iPhone. You're going to hit trust on the iPhone and I'll go ahead and put my code in. All right guys, so now that it shows phones are connected, we're gonna hit next. And now it's gonna start reading all the information on the iPhone. So this part could take a minute. Uh, you will need to sign to your Google account as well. So let me go ahead and do that. All right guys, we're all signed into our Google account and now it's gonna be checking all the data on the iPhone first so that it can then give you a list of what needs to be transferred and you can accept it. All right guys, so it did take a little bit for it to scan the iPhone and figure out everything it wanted to transfer or everything that could be transferred, um, but we finally got everything added here. So we got messages, we have music, we have uh, photos, uh, a lot, 91 apps, iCloud contacts, message attachments, everything. So at this point, we're gonna hit next. And on, on this screen, it's pretty cool because you can go in and say like, don't transfer this. You can basically uh, unselect some things. Um, it'll also recommend uh, any app that you have that has an equivalent Android version, it will also recommend to have those downloaded on the new phone as well. All right, guys, so uh, on this screen, you know, we basically selected all the apps and things that we wanted to transfer. And now um, it does give you an estimated time of how long it will take to transfer everything. So only seven minutes for this section. And then we'll pass on to the next section. So you just got to hang tight and just stay close to the phone and just go ahead and hit next as it asks you to hit next. But right now it's doing the first step, which is just copying everything uh, to be transferred. One important note here, guys, uh, you are able to click next and continue setting up your phone while it does the copying, which is really cool. Um, so I can just hit next here and I can continue my process of, of uh, accepting all the important things and um, even setting up my, 
fingerprint, for example. Uh, I'm gonna skip that for now. You can set a lock pin as well, we'll skip that. Skip anyway. Uh, we'll do that later as well. A couple of extra apps here, hit okay. So it's a couple of things to do while it's doing the copy. Uh, ultimately, you will just have to kind of wait it out until it's done though. All right guys, and just that quick, uh, it has finished um, kind of copying everything over. And right here, it'll kind of give you the report of, you know, what was copied and if anything wasn't copied. So it looks like we were fully successful here. So now we just hit done. And let's see, it says to keep receiving your SMS messages from your iPhone users, you'll need to turn off iMessage. So we did already turn off iMessage as well at the beginning. And at that point, we can unplug our cable and the phone is gonna continue to transfer and just complete the transfer. So, um, but that's it guys. That is basically the process to transfer everything from an iPhone to a Pixel 3a. And basically any Pixel, it should work, but specifically we're demonstrating on the new Pixel 3a. So, hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at h2techvideos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and have a good one.